Hey, what is up people? Vicky from Element on back with another quick video. And before starting anything else, I would like to drop a big banner stating that this is more of a subjective topic. So uh, whatever I say is not 100% valid. Everybody will have a different opinion. So the cross opinions you have, please drop them on the comments below. With that being said, let's quickly jump on to the topic. So what's going on? What's the hot topic of the town? Uh, EU, the European Union, fines Google $5 billion for using Android operating system to cement dominant position. Now, apart from techies and Googleites who had been following this lawsuit for a long time, uh, others might not know what just happened. So let me give you a brief timeline of what happened. Uh, ready? Uh, stay with me till the end or else you would not understand the point I'm trying to make. Okay, let's start. So in the year 2005, Google bought Android from its creator Andy Rubin. And in 2007, Google gave a first look on what Android would look like. And in 2008, September, Google released, uh, I mean, the companies released the first ever Android phone on the market. Uh, since then, Android has been maintained as a free open source operating system, which means phone makers who intend to use Android for their operating system doesn't need to pay anything to Google. From a logical point of view, nothing is free in this plant. You have to give something to get something. The same goes with Google. So Google said, yeah, you can get all my operating system for free, but then you have to sign a contract called MADA contract, which means Mobile Application Distribution Agreement. According to this contract, Google has laid three rules to be followed by phone makers in order to use Android as their operating system. So number one would be to make use of Google's search bar, the, the search bar you would see on the home page as default for phones right out of the box. So users can then remove the uh, widget as per their requirement, but as default, the search bar has to be there on the home page of every phone that has Android operating system. The second condition is to use Google Chrome or Google Search as the default browser. Uh, and again, this is also an optional feature. Users can then again uh, make their preferred browsers as default, but right out of the box, the default web browser would be Google Chrome or Google Search. The last condition is to include at least nine applications that are made by Google. So as soon as you buy a new phone and when you unlock it, you'll have a small folder called Google that has almost nine to 10 apps inside like Play Store, Maps, YouTube, Play Music, etc. So these are the apps that are made by Google and Google wanted other phone manufacturers to have these apps on the home screen. And again, this is also an optional one. You can, you can always remove those apps if you don't need. But then these are the three uh, rules that have been laid by Google in order for other phone manufacturers to make uh, Android as their primary operating system. So almost all companies signed the contract, not immediately, but eventually. Um, and then in the year 2011, Google tripled the amount of apps from almost nine to 20 apps to be placed on the home screen. And then in the year 2014, uh, Google uh, requested phone manufacturers to summon Google search when the users hold the home button. So when users uh, keep hold of the home button, uh, you'll have a search bar, uh, Google's search bar opened up in order to search things. And then Google also requested phone manufacturers to include OK Google Now as hot word or wake up word for its voice assistants. And then in the year 2016, there was a complaint on Google to have violated some policies. And then fast forward now to 2018, EU filed a complaint on Google for violating the antitrust policy. And when digging deep down, I came to know that EU feels Google is making use of other phone companies to promote their own applications and make their own products to be as default and not allowing other third party, I mean other OEMs to, uh, you know, innovate their own software. So for example, Google has Gmail, Samsung also has their own mailing app and then Google has Play Store, Samsung has their own app store, Google has Play Music and Samsung has their own music store. So what EU feels is uh, Google is not allowing uh, other OEMs to innovate their software part and then uh, they are forcing other OEMs to make their own product, uh, Google's own product to be the default ones uh, for phones right out of the box. And not to mention this complaint came from Europe, a place where there are no 
much of phone manufacturers and when verge uh, went ahead and asked other phone manufacturers about this they said they had no complaints about uh, google making their own products as default on their phones so eu granted 90 days uh, of time for google to accept their mistake and then pay 5 billion dollars as fine uh, but google decided to uh, oppose the complaint uh, lodged on them so that's the problem happening between uh, european union and google recently let me quickly tell you what i think and again this is not from google fanboy's point of view this is from the point of view of a middleman so google is definitely a dominant uh, market in operating system and there are only a handful of other operating system providers uh, we have ios from apple but that's only for apple they don't give it to other phone manufacturers and then we have android os from google and then we have one from Samsung that's called Tizen OS, but that's not official yet. They're only using that OS for their television lines. And then we have Fire OS from Amazon. And then we had Symbian and Windows based operating system, but that's not there now. So on a majority scale, we have only two basic operating systems, the iOS and the Android OS. And again, Google services play a dominant role in our lives because uh, how many of you here use Outlook or uh, Hotmail or uh, Yahoo Mail as their mailing service. Most of us use Gmail. Even other third-party websites and third-party applications uh, had an option to sign in with your existing Gmail account. That's because when you first sign into your website, you don't have to give your first name, last name, gender, age, email ID, your address, everything. You just have to sign in with your Gmail and the personal information from your Gmail gets transferred to uh the website you are using so as simple as that and again like i said google maps all the third party applications food based applications like swiggy uber eats zomato everything is making use of google maps to live track where you are to bring food to your home you don't have to go out of your home to you know buy food even apple uses google chrome and google maps sometimes as their default navigation services. If at all people want to use their preferred uh, services as default, it's okay with that. Uh, Google doesn't want them to use their own products. They can, they can set their preferred applications as default instead of Google's own applications. Like I don't use Gmail anymore. Uh, I use Bluemail, a third party application for mailing service. So I just sync my Gmail app with my Bluemail and, uh, and now I'm using Bluemail as my primary email. Uh, I just disable Gmail and that hides from my app drawer. So we are living in 2018 and people must know how to use their application. I mean, there has to be some sacrifice, right? Google is spending billions and billions of dollars to develop a new version of their OS and giving it for free to other phone manufacturers. So there has to be some alternative source of income because everybody needs to earn. So what Google is doing is making their own products as default for people to use right out of the box. So that's been it from my side. Uh, hope you had some information about what's happening. Uh, hope you at least had some glimpse of what uh, the problem is about. And if you did, then be sure to drop a thumbs up. Um, uh, if you had some contrasting opinions, then drop them on the comments below. I'll be right there answering them. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these tech videos. And I should stop saying tech videos because uh, you know, the channel is expanding. Yes it is and I will let you know in my next video. So until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.